pretty valiant effort on uh, Sarah Pillard's part to be able to go back to back against a team that swings as hard and as free as they do. I mean, there's no messing around with them. They swing to drive the ball far, and they were tough outs. So I felt pretty good about that. Um, I thought that, you know, offensively, I really thought we hit the ball hard. We just were very unlucky. We were always hitting it at somebody or into something. And the good part of that was we stayed patient. You know, we didn't start to press. So I thought, I thought for a young team, we came through that very, very well in terms of, you know, learning a lot. and and mature in a little bit with that experience. Game two, I thought we opened some, some things up. I thought um, we did a good job at the plate. Would have liked to have knocked, knocked down those balls on the right side of the field a little bit better. I thought we had some plays that could have been made, but that's what we'll be working on tomorrow. Can you talk about how you guys feel coming into games at home, why you guys seem to be so dominant here? Um, being in your own home environment, just, I don't know, all your friends, your family is able to come. Um, I know my family can't come to away games, so when they're here, it peps me up even more. So I think that helps a lot, having your own family, your own friends here at the game. So. You have a real busy schedule coming up. Yeah. Um, more doubleheaders, two doubleheaders, I think, on slate for the next week. Uh, can you talk about your mentality for doubleheaders? Do you know you're gonna, if you're going to get the ball at both games? or? No, we and never know. also the mentality, just yeah, no, we never know who's going to get the ball until we get there. Um, we'll all throw, get ready, see what we're feeling, um, depending on who we're playing, you know, what pitches are working better for the opposing team. Um, that's all coaches call, whatever she feels like. And our mentality is just kind of whatever happens, just go with it. Um, don't think too much and just play. There were a few times today where uh, it looked like your pitches were a little bit flatter, a little bit lower in the velocity. Did you notice that you were battling a little bit out there today? Yeah, definitely. Today was one of the days I would definitely had to struggle through and battle through. Um, it, I mean, it was good that our offense – was able to get some home runs, a couple of runs across <laughs> yep. the board there. Yeah, definitely a big, um, like some insurance runs, I guess you can call them, but that was good. We're confident here at home because you guys seem to never really lose here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's our field and we're going to protect our house and we're going to represent UMass, especially on our field. We're, we're not going to lose, we don't want to lose on our home field ideally, and um, we just want to represent UMass the best we can. <laughs> you had an important home run back in, what inning was that? Back in the six. Oh, the six six can, can you just talk about the, the home run that I bat? Um, I kind of was struggling all day today with my hitting, and my whole our whole team's been really focusing on chopping the tree down of that mentality and that at bat. I literally went up there and thought, just knock the tree down. And in between innings, um, Coach Chris was helping me off the tee, so I was just trying to look to not pop the ball up because I popped up all my other at bats. So I was looking to put the ball in play and move the runners around. Is tea work something you usually do in between innings? No, not really, but I was I felt like I needed to step up for my team. I can't keep going over, so I had to try to change something.